start of the year. Okay, so then as transaction happens, as we purchase things, as we sell things, corporations will analyze and journalize the new transactions. So this is the second box. We start from the beginning balance from last year. We capture new transactions. We post these transactions to T accounts as they happen. So this is this part of the transaction, the process that we covered in Chapter 2. Okay, we journalize new transactions that happened in 2013, post them to T accounts. Okay, now when it reaches almost, if the, if the company is trying to do monthly statement, when it reaches almost January 31st, we try to compute the unadjusted balance based on all the journal transaction that happens. Okay, so that would be the worksheet, the first column, unadjusted trial balance. So in Chapter 3, introduced to you was the adjusting entries. When it reaches the very last day, January 31st, adjusting entries need to be made. All of the five categories that we covered last week, all the adjustments that we want to bring up the accounts up to its current status. Okay, so journal transactions, post them to T accounts. When it's close to the end of the period, we summarize an unadjusted trial balance and then figure out whether they're the five categories of adjustments, are there any categories that this company in this month needs to be made? Okay, after the adjustments, really the numbers is ready for financial <coughs> statements. But again, some companies prepare the complete worksheet with five columns. So some companies may prefer just three columns where we left off in Chapter 3. Some companies may want to expand two other columns. So today we'll be introducing you another way to do it. But really, the third column has all the numbers ready for financial statements. And then, last part of this chapter, we also have closing <coughs> entries to make. Now, closing entries is referring to temporary accounts. So as I mentioned, that most of the accounts we have the final balance carried <coughs> to this year's beginning balance, there are some of the accounts that we zero it out every single season. So those are the income statement accounts. Revenues, expenses, always starts off zero. So when you look at each and every income statement, it only represents that particular month's net income or net loss, that particular month's profit. Okay, so revenues, expenses, dividends, these are the three accounts, the only three accounts that we close it out every single season. Okay, just so creditors and investors know, when they look at income statement, they know that this is only representing this period of time's net income. It's not an accumulated net income. Remember, accumulated is captured in equity, retained earnings. This account itself is already an accumulated earnings. But when we look at income statement, it only represents a yearly profit or a monthly profit. Those accounts, later in this chapter, you'll be learning how to zero them out. Close them out, and next, next year or next month, we start from zero, and then we accumulate. Okay, but the majority of the accounts are called permanent accounts. Okay, so the majority accounts, meaning all the accounts that you see on balance sheet, those will not be zeroed out as time goes by. Those are accumulated accounts, permanent accounts. Okay, only income statement accounts, revenue expenses, and particularly dividends. So those are the only three accounts that in accounting, how we play the game is we zero them out. Whenever you see that account, you know it only represents that particular month's dividends, that particular month's revenue, that particular month's expenses. Okay, so after closing the accounts, then there is a post-closing trial balance. Some of the companies like to do this. Again, it's an internal document, not required. Depends on business. They may want to do the very last box there, the post-closing trial balance. Truly, really is pretty simple. We'll be getting to that on Wednesday. And then next year, 2014, we'll start again from the <laughs> beginning balance, which is really the ending balance from this year end. And then again, we add new transactions, post them to T accounts, summarize the information, we do adjustments, do financial statements, close the entries, start again from beginning balance. Okay, so this is a general accounting cycle. If companies do monthly statement, this cycle will happen every month. If it's a quarterly statement, every quarter. Okay, so public traded companies have to do quarterly statements, so this happens at least on a quarterly basis. Then a year basis, it happens again. Summarizes all the information that happens in the entire year.